So our question today has to do with home canning broth and removing that grease. Hi, my name is Sharon Peterson and I'm with simplycanning.com where you can find home canning tips, tutorials, and classes. Come visit me there and I will help you get your pantry filled. So let me read the question for today. This is from Danny Dan and let's see. Mm, my question has to do with pressure canning homemade chicken broth or stock and the removal of the fat. Everywhere I look, everything says to remove, quote, excess fat. The main reason being so the fat doesn't creep up and become the bond breaker between the rubber seal of the lid and the rim of the canning jar. I totally understand this. However, I wanna keep the fat. So question one, if I remove the fat, how can I preserve it? Question two, if I don't remove the fat, will lowering the amount of broth and fat in the jar be okay? Or do I need to maintain the one inch headspace for safety against premature spoilage or some other reason? And question three, this should probably be question one, however, what is the definition of excess fat? Okay, so I'm gonna deal with these one at a time. Well, first, look, my comment is you are right. The reason you wanna remove the fat is you don't want it to end up causing um, the seal to break, whether it's in the canner or on the shelf. Question one, if I remove the fat, how can I preserve it? I would suggest freezing it. There's no way to, there's no way to can it um, that I know of. Freezing would be your best option. You can just put it in a little canning jar and put it in the freezer. You can put it in a baggie, whatever works for you. So that's short and sweet. Freezing is the best option. Question two, if I don't remove the fat, will lowering the amount of broth and fat in the jar be okay? No, it's not okay. So first of all, I don't recommend not removing the fat. Um, and we'll talk about what excess is in a minute here. You need to maintain that headspace because that's the space that your broth needs. The proper headspace is the space between the broth and the lid. And you need that space in there to be correct so that it has the right amount for expansion and then contraction as you're going through the processing. So that's why you need that. And adjusting that headspace is not gonna affect the, whether you take the fat out or not. So don't change the headspace. And then question three, what is the definition of excess fat? And I told Danny Dan, that is probably the question, I think that's the question of the year. That, that would be my vote for the best question. Um, excess is one of those words that's fairly, you know, it, it depends on the person. So um, let, me read, let me read what I wrote here. Excess is a relative term, isn't it? I can't really give a specific definition because there really are, is no specific definition. It's not like I can give you a measurement. But when you cool the fat, the fat is going to um, create a layer on top of your broth. So if you've got a couple of inches of fat on top of that broth, that I would consider to be excess. You need to take it off. Um, if there's just like some tiny little globules floating on top of there, and I don't know if globules is the right word, but you know what I mean, just some little spots where there's a little bit of fat, I wouldn't worry about that. But the, the idea is you wanna take as much of the fat off as you can, and so I do recommend doing that. A couple things to note, when I am canning, um, I'm usually working with meat that doesn't have a lot of fat because we do a lot of venison and elk, and there just simply isn't a lot of fat on those, and so I rarely have any fat to take off. When I am canning chicken, if I'm making chicken broth, usually um, I will remove any excess fat off of the chicken itself before I can it, and if I'm doing broth, it's just the bones, and so there won't be a lot of fat in there anyway. But you need to cool it, check and see if there's any fat on there, and then go ahead and take that off. But rarely do I have any issues to where I have, quote, excess fat. The one place where I could see fat being, in, being an issue is with pork, because pork is just naturally a more fatty meat. I don't can a lot of pork. Um, I, I think I did it once just because I wanted to do it and so that I could tell people how to do it, but it's just not something that we use very much. We don't raise pigs and so I'd have to go buy it and we just don't. And so, but I do know that pork is naturally a more fatty meat and so therefore you're gonna have to deal with a little bit more fat. Be sure and remove any excess fat. Your question number two saying that if you don't, well, I don't, re I don't recommend that. I do recommend you go ahead and take the fat off. Excess. Who knows what that means? Go ahead and take as much fat off as you can. Don't change that headspace. I hope that was helpful. You guys have a wonderful afternoon and we'll talk to you next time.